Hi, Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. Today we're gonna to talk about some research that was presented at the American Society of Nephrology's Kidney Week 2020 about parathyroid hormone and kidney disease and vitamin D. So parathyroid hormone regulates calcium in your body, regulates it uh, through your, with your bones, your intestines, um, your kidneys play a big role in this. And often with kidney disease, you get secondary hyperparathyroidism. So your parathyroid hormone goes up because your parathyroid is sending out a lot of hormones trying to regulate that calcium balance in your body. And because the kidneys don't work, you don't get the proper uh, functioning of that parathyroid hormone and the calcium in your body. So what can you do about it? So first you need to have a blood test, okay, to make sure your parathyroid hormone, PTH, it's for sure, is elevated. Now if it's elevated, generally a doctor will recommend some type of vitamin D. We have vitamin D2, which is the prescription, vitamin D3, which is natural, and then they have some other analogs of vitamin D that are prescription like calcitriol. So this video is about vitamin D3. A lot of people use D3 to help their parathyroid hormone, to help their vitamin D levels, and vitamin D in general, and especially D3, provides a lot of kidney benefits and a lot of benefits to your health. So. What they found at this research, and they looked at a lot of different research related to this, that if you're taking vitamin D3 for your parathyroid hormone on your blood test, okay, it's gonna say 25 hydroxy vitamin D, okay, you wanna look at that, it should be 50 or higher to get all of the benefits of lowering the parathyroid hormone, your calcium. When D3 wasn't 50 or higher, it didn't have uh, as many benefits as it did as opposed to hitting that 50 mark. So uh, what I'm gonna be recommending to most people now is that if you're using D3 uh, to help your parathyroid hormone, if it's elevated, you really should shoot for that 50 to 60 level on your blood test. So that's the 25 hydroxy vitamin D, 50 to 60 is, is what I'm gonna recommend. So we know that it should be at least 50. We don't like these mega high doses of vitamin D, like 80, 90, 100, just because we don't know the long-term impact on kidney disease with them and what, it may, what else it may do to your body because having more is not always better. Having that right spot is where you really get all those good benefits from the vitamin D3 without risking side effects that we don't know about. So for this, vitamin D3, look at your blood test, 25 hydroxy vitamin D, and you wanna have that between 50 to 60, or at least 50, and that's where you get all the benefits of helping your PTH, your parathyroid hormone. And so that's what you wanna do with D3. Thanks for watching everybody. For other good things to help your kidney, check out our channel, our website, healthykidneyinc.com, and from one kidney disease sufferer to another, to your best kidney health. Thanks for watching.